This is part one where I show you the contents of this. It's a front wheel, 250 watt QC power with the battery included. And uh, I'll put a link to the part two where I, I put it on my bike. November 23. That's the box weight with all the extra things in it. 79 centimetres long, 67 centimetres wide. 27 centimetres Twelve kilograms It's pretty easy to lift for most people Something's sticking out there I hope it's not the wheel It was the wheel But it looks okay So far It got here in two days This is my understanding But you'll need to check 30 days if you change your mind, anything faulty, 18 months. This is a bit that was touching the side, but it looks okay so far. Free bag, but I don't need to use it for anything. Cables, brakes, tools, and then it's got the crank set thing for your crank. Um, a light and the display screen. Battery. It's really heavy. Don't lose anything. Plus keys. About four kilograms. This is the battery. It was made seven months ago. On off. Charge to charge. You hope these match up with your bottle cage screws, I guess. That's centimetres, that's inches. Don't know if this is any use to you. Well, they are adjustable a bit. I would say about 36 centimetres. Say about 11 centimetres. The widest side is about just over 9 centimetres, I would say. On AliExpress website, it says this battery brand is Halong Plus. Yeah, well, it's got an HL there, hasn't it? More control things. I've seen good videos on Yossi Power on YouTube, and on they, them, they were using a 13 amp hour battery. This one's 15.6 amp hours. So I don't know if they've, Yossi Power have recently upgraded their uh, range. Because that's basically range that you get from that. So, I don't know. The videos I looked at, they were very recent, you know, three, three to six months ago. This AA battery isn't lithium. But my understanding is that these are actually loads of lithium iron batteries that are AA, all bundled together in series or whatever. That's what these are. Charger. It's quite heavy. Don't take this as fact, but about 3.6 kilograms. This is a front wheel motor, so I'm presuming I put it on this way, although I might be totally wrong. But you need to put it on in the right direction, I guess. I wanted a 700C wheel, and that's what I got. Although I would call it a 622mm wheel. 700C is actually archaic, but it's what most use. And to make it even more confusing, apparently 28 inch is the same size as well. So, 28 inch, 622 millimetres or 700C. This is probably what you'll get. And to make it even more confusing, I think in America, 28 inch wheel is a 29 inch. Don't quote me on that, check for yourself. But uh, on the website it said 28 inch, but I think it also said 700C. So. But I'm looking at 622mm because that is the official measurement they should be using. This wheel is for disc or V-brake. I'll need to fit the disc myself on the other side. Um, but you can use it as a V-brake if you want. And that's why it's sort of 
wee brake machine there. So I suppose that's good. That's probably the way they'll go. So you can do either. But they didn't give me a disc brake, so I'll need to put the disc brake on myself and supply it myself. There's the six fixing screws for the disc brake. 250 watt motor. UK, yeah, that's me. The outer width of the, t of the wheel is about 22 centimetres. I think internal is meant to be about 19 millimetres or something. That's a pretty standard for sort of road bikes, hybrid bikes, I think. So uh, that's pretty good for me because I'm wanting a sort of road bike type. I'm sure that's a pretty common sight width. It's double walled as well, which is good. So it looks really good quality. Well, good to me. I wonder if that's a brand name. HTC or something. I mean, it looks as if it's meant for 250 watt motors. But, or, or actually, I don't know, but... Oh, well, it is, because it's got that on it. But uh, it looks pretty good quality. I've heard people say that spokes are broke. Well, I've heard people on YouTube say that, but not in this. I don't know anything about this this brand at all in the past on e-bikes. The most likely thing to go wrong is maybe spokes break or something, but this looks decent quality anyway. Although I don't know, to be honest. In this bag, the pedal assist sensor for your crank, thumb throttle, I think it's for six miles an hour maximum. More cable and cable ties. You put this on your left side crank and it's to so you can't go faster than 15 miles an hour. That means at that speed the battery will cut out. So that's to for UK law. Apparently these won't fit holotech ones, the ones you get with the pack. You'll need to order them separately from Yossi. So you would need to order a, a holotech pedal assist sensor from Yossi. I don't know if other ones would work with them. This is a thumb throttle you put on the handlebar. But in the UK, I think throttles are illegal, so I'm not putting mine on. But from what I've heard, this only goes at 6 mile an hour maximum anyway. It might even be 6 kilometres an hour. I think it's meant to give you a sort of standing start in that, but I don't think any type of throttle is legal in the UK. If you have one, you're classed as a moped and you need to get a driving licence and all those sort of things. So, I wouldn't be putting that on. Here's a main set of cables. This is my understanding of UK law 2023, although I might be wrong. I understand that you can't have a throttle, so you can't use it like a motorbike, really. It's got to be pedal assist only, and only up to 25 kilometres an hour maximum. After that, it should cut it, and you can only have a, a motor up to a maximum of 250 watts. So they give me a throttle, which I hear is about 6 mile an hour max. That would be like a motorbike that can go up to 6 mile an hour. But my understanding is it's illegal anyway, so in the UK. I could be wrong though, so please check. They give you the tool to put the pedal assist sensor on the left crank. So that's what you'd use for that. Put on your left crank. This should fit most, I think, but probably not all. It's something like you screw that in and then... I don't know, I've been watching people, you screw that out, that takes bullets. So hopefully, it's probably the most awkward but but hopefully it will go alright. They give a set of Allen keys. They give you a light, but I won't be installing it. It's pretty low lumens as well, I think it's only about 30 lumens or something. Don't know where it's meant to go in with this thing, but... They give you brakes as well, which is meant to cut the motor out if you're going to, you know, when you're braking. I don't think I'll fit them on at first, but I might long term, but I'm just not going to bother with them. But from what I've seen in other videos, people haven't bothered with them.
but I will keep them when I might use them. They might even be better quality than the ones I've got. And it may be easier as well to install. The brake levers won't work with hydraulic brakes. You'll need to either order another set from Yossi or not use, just not use them at all or get them from somewhere else. Two keys. This is to take your battery off the bike. I presume two of these go on your bottle cage fittings. I've not worked it out yet. Display. This is the first time I've put a e-bike together by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. I'll do three videos, I'll do one putting it on and another one with all these sort of stats and things. Hope this fits my handlebar. You may be wondering, where's the controller? That metal box thing? Well, apparently it's in here. It's integrated. To get this off. Slide. And there's the integrated controller, which is usually an ugly silver box you need to put in a bag. That's great because usually people put them in a bag like this, the controller. It's a sort of metal thing that looks like a, a transformer or something. And it's got lots of wires that go in and out of it. And usually people stick it in a bag like this. I'm not sure if there's any downside in integrating it, you know. Maybe it makes these things bigger and wider or something. That's the only downside I could think of because to get rid of the controller, which is a very ugly thing that you'll see in, on websites of other manufacturers selling e-bike conversion kits you really want to do away with the controller if you can and if, it, if it's in here that's even better there's a lock thing there make sure it's down unlock this is the first time i've done this so I, bear with me slide don't unscrew them that's what i've done that was a mistake it's locked in place there it's unlocked and you put this on your bottle cage, on your down tube, and the screws between that and that or that. Hope it works out for you. That's it guys, I'll do two other videos, one fitting it and the other showing you as much as I can of the info that I've got. Bye.